start we started writing the fanzine four four years ago. Four years ago, yeah. Um, because like Sheffield was we we love Sheffield for loads of different reasons, but kind of none of the reasons that anyone ever like the count the council or kind of whatever group were always saying Sheffield's amazing for this and it was completely not the Sheffield that we knew and loved at all. So we just used to write about we started writing about ourselves, about the trees and the people and the music and the architecture. The all of the, the voices in the city before we started doing Go were always saying that, you know, Sheffield's great because it's got shops and Sheffield's great because it's got restaurants and uh, all the same things you'd hear about any other city. What was more important to us was about, you know, what made Sheffield different and distinct rather than what made it the same. We, we wanted to get a new symbol for Sheffield because everybody outside the city, the sort of historic opinion of Sheffield like, over the last 20 years has been of unemployment and knives and forks and steel and just this being this sort of like quite grim industrial place really. So we wanted a new symbol for it and we thought that these two cooling towers, because everyone saw them and everyone knew them, and so we thought that these two cooling towers might be a really good symbol if we could re you know, transform them into something that reflected what was good about the city we loved. With, with the shops, kind of, we'd been, we'd been trying to make the towers thing happen for kind of like two years, yeah. well three years, and then t nearly two years as part of the Channel 4 thing. Yeah. And it kind of, there were, there, kind of, there were six other sites and they, they were, because they were the owners of the land where they'd been picked, kind of, they wanted to do an art project. Whereas with ours, because the kind of the owners of the towers wanted to knock them down, we'd kind of constantly been trying to save them rather than kind of trying to do the art. Do the art. And we were kind of we were kind of ready to do it really. We had we had the kind of funding and we had an art like Anish Kapoor to do it, and then kind of very suddenly, and, and e Eon and the council seemed to be very positive about it, didn't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we we couldn't do a permanent piece of art there because they wanted to knock the towers down. But there did seem to be some sort of compromise where we could do a temporary piece of art, and we had you know an installation all ready to go. And like Tom says, that the Eon and and the council were sort of happy to do that. But then all of a sudden they decided that instead they were going to knock the towers down and build a power station and and give half a million pounds towards a, a new piece, of a, new, a new work of art. So we so we couldn't really argue with that because suddenly like they were the good guys and you know it was difficult to argue against that. Yeah, we decided to celebrate the towers in the same way that any other city would celebrate their landmark by doing like a gift shop. And like the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yeah, or the Angel of the North or anything like that. We sold them for £25 each and now they're on eBay going for £350, which is €500, Euros, isn't it? And I think people in the city are very worried that the sort of the soul of the city and what makes it different is being eroded and replaced with, you know, sort of... Glass. Glass and, yeah, just very, very similar, very sort of adequate, cheap buildings from any other city in the country and I think that's a real worry here.